Good morning, this is Jen, the Liberty Lion, and in this video I want to talk to you about something called negative circling or circling negative. So there's a circle around you and it's built by people who want to hurt you and some people do it to themselves and when they do it to themselves it's usually because someone has cause them some sort of problem and then it they allow it in their mind to just get bigger and bigger and bigger but some people do this intentionally to try to bring you down because they're uh, threatened by you and a lot of people in power or who want to be in power circle negative around people that they want to control so if somebody wants to control you, what they do is they try to wear you down and wear you down and wear you down. So in previous videos, I, uh, I talked a lot about how the state was in control of the federal government. And then what the federal government did was it created all these problems to get control of the states and bring the states under it control, its control. So once the states were brought under its control, they wanted to bring individual people under its control. Because power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So what they do is they just bombard you. They bombard you with legislation. They bombard you with notices, with tickets and courts and threats to send you to prison to gain its Federal Reserve notes that it has complete control of to get you to put substances into your body that normal people in a normal healthy state wouldn't need um, by creating problems with plagues, the threats of plagues and how they're the only ones that can save you, um, threats of war and they're the only ones that can save you, to um, wear things on your face to not be able to send your children to school without those things on their faces to allow some corporations to get away with things like um, environmental problems like refineries and, and allowing them to put uh, toxins in the air and then creating something called parts per million where they say that, well, so many of these parts per million is okay, but when other people do it, it's not. Bombarding you with um, media stuff, uh, radio, television. Uh, if you think that the government doesn't have control over the media, you're wrong. A lot of the medias are part of the military industrial complex and owned by the same people who own a lot of these industrial complexes. Even so much as threats of alien invasions and how they're the only ones that can protect us from that. And so we must follow the rules now that they give us so that they can protect us from things later. Controlling travel, uh, basic fundamental human rights that humans have had since the dawn of time, the right to travel, whether by plane, by car, by foot, uh, from one country to another country across borders. They just have all these restrictions in place. You have to have uh, paperwork. You have to have vaccines. You have to have a mask, you have to have all these things or you can't go anywhere, you can't travel, you can't even go to see your family if they live in another country or in another state. They bombard you with signs, do this, do that, don't do this, don't go here, don't go there, go this way, go that way, go this speed, go a higher speed, go a slower speed. And if you don't and you get caught, put your hands up, put your hands down, crawl on the floor, put them behind your back, put them behind your head and you get shot anyway controlling your food um, GMOs controlling what you can eat controlling your education controlling your ability to work or not work to get a license to uh, go camping even you have to get a, a permit to go camping here a permit to go camping there uh, a permit for your trailer a permit for your um, 
for your uh, camper, who you can marry, who you cannot marry, um, controlling the, the, the telecommunications companies, putting a post, putting the, the federal government has put a post on your property. They've posted it through your mailbox, requiring you to have a federal mailbox on your property. That means they've laid claim to it. That's what the post, military posts are. That's what a post is, a stick in the ground. It's a, it's a claim to something. Telling you where to work, where to go, to get a license to, to drive, to get a license to work, controlling your income, controlling the amount you can save. Sending the police to your home. They take your homes if you don't pay your taxes. Controlling your happiness and your sadness, ultimately. So here's a circle of negativity. They've surrounded you with negativity. Negative things. Do this, do that. Go here, don't go there. Um, you can't, you should, you better, or else. Go to prison, go to jail, get a ticket, pay a fine. And it's round and round and round and constant bombarding from the radio and from the TV and you've got to, you've got to, you've got to or else. And what does this do to a person? It causes them to get sick. It causes them to stress out. It causes them to be anger, angry and lash out. Uh, it causes them health problems, constipation, insomnia, a lower ability to fight off infections, uh, stress, High blood pressure, constipation, insomnia, depression. This has been known for hundreds of years. They lead you right off a cliff. Hundreds of years they've known that circling negative or um, violent circles cause health issues in people, cause them to act out under stress, under pressure. So I'm just wondering, for how much longer are we going to allow them to make negative circles around us? They're doing this to us. They've been doing it for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. And are we going to let them do it to our children? Are we going to let them control our lives, our, our happiness, our health through circling negative? creating these negative circles around us. I guess it's all up to up to you and whether you want to keep uh, playing along in their system. You want to keep paying their fines and taking their medicines and buying into their fear tactics of Invasions by foreign forces, invasions by aliens, invasions by virus. Follow all their signs and get all their licenses and permits and use their banks for your banking accounts and accepting their papers in the mail, their threats of force and threats of violence and notice of, you know, we're going to take this from you and take that from you. Take your children from you. Take your home from you. Take your labor from you. So hopefully this comes to an end soon, but it can only come to an end once you stop buying into all their negative circling. and Break those circles down. Tell them to pack sand. Send their papers back, but it takes all of us. I think this is what Ron Paul means when he says it, it's going to take a lot of people to do this. One person or a few people can't do it. That's why he's asking people to go out, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, and just say no. No is the most powerful word in the English language, he says. And I agree. I've been saying for a long time, no contract. No. Ron Paul says, just no. That's all you need to write, no. Maybe we should try it. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.